flip, game time. Cardinals doing a good job of reversing the ball that time. Al Wood has got 12. It's 56 all, and there's been a timeout taken by the Blue Devils. It's their second with timeout on the floor and 8.29 to go. The score, Duke 56, Carolina 56. Member FSLIC. Ever stop to think? Duke has been up by as many as six points here in the second half after trailing by as many as nine in the first. And now Carolina has battled back to tie 8.29 from the end. For the game, we have uh, Bob Woodruff total it up. The uh, Tar Heels are 28 of 43, shooting 65%. Duke is 22 of 38, 58%. But talk about hot hand and, and clutch play. The Tar Heels have hit six of their last seven shots in tying it up, while the Blue Devils were hitting five of their last six. 56 all inbound to Spadarkle. He's double team. Got it to Jeminski underneath. Up for the shot. Blocked. And who's the foul on? It's on Al Wood, and it's his fourth. Al Wood has just picked up his fourth personal foul. Big foul for the Tar Heels because Wood has got the hot hand at the moment with eight points here in the second half and 12 for the game. Coming with 8.25 to play, and Dean Smith is going to let the gray Georgia junior stay, or gray Georgia sophomore stay in there. Jeminski will shoot two. Mike was three of four in the first half, making now four of five. He's got 20 points. That just is about his average. He came in averaging 19-7. It's 57-56. Jeminski, who skipped his senior year in high school up in Connecticut, knocks in his next one. He's got 21 now, and it's 58-56. Cole Scott controls for the Tar Heels. Across the timeline against Bender. Working right side. It's Virgil down on the right wing. John holding high. Virgil will bring it now to the middle. Across the top of the circle to Wood. Back on the right side. Goes to Cole Scott in the right corner. Dave on the dribble, comes now to Virgil. Off to Wood, Wood working baseline. Short jumpers up, no good. They battle for it, and Jeminski's got the rebound. Outlet comes to Denard. Spinarkle filling the middle. Denard can't get it to him. He'll fire from on the right, use the glass. It's no good. Spinarkle up, good. Good off the rebound. 12 points, Jim Spinarkle, 60-56. Duke back on top by four. Tar Heels quickly front court. Virgil, with the O'Corin screen, doesn't take the shot. Whips it now to Al Wood. Wood against Denard. Moving into the middle, Denard knocking the ball away. It's loose. Ball loose down on the floor. Finally picked up by O'Corin. Here's O'Corin going down off the glass against Jeminski. It rimmed out. Wouldn't go. Wolf had it. Lost it. Al Wood picks it up. Uses the glass. Good. Al Wood, 14. What a flurry right the Duke there. Duke has thrown it away. Jeminski tried to go to Spinarco. Front court for the transition. Bucket and threw it away. Bradley re-enters the Tar Heel lineup. He'll replace Al Wood. 7.26 to play. Duke leads by two, Tar Heels with a chance to tie. While we're resting the guns of Navarone, let us say that the Tar Heels have done an excellent job defending against the Duke pass break. Even that time, when the pass was errant, they were back on defense ready to play. That's training, and that's having your team prepared. Dudley Bradley will come baseline right underneath the Tar Heel goal to inbound the ball. 60-58, ain't nobody going nowhere, and you stay where you are. Wolf to Cole Scott, deflected by Denard, but Dave recovers to Virgil to Dudley Bradley in the right corner. Harold gets on him, comes back to Virgil on the right sideline. Off it comes to Colescott, shooting over Spadarkle. Game time! Dave Colescott with 14. I tell you, Bender and Colescott have played some game tonight for their respective ball clubs. Just like high school days in Indiana. 60 all. Harold to Jeminski, high post to Banks. Banks over O'Coran. Missed. They battle for it. Ball loose. Spadarkle picking it up in traffic. Banks it. It won't go. O'Coran comes away with it. Ball was tapped to the outside. O'Corin coming front court. O'Corin coming down. Denar trying for the steal. Slid away. Bradley from out of the left corner. Missed it, and Jeminski standing flat-footed gets the rebound. Clears it away to Spinarkle. Spinarkle front court now. Running one-hander, right of the lane. No good. Wolf's got the rebound. Foul from behind by Denard. It's his third. And everybody is pushed, I'll tell you. I don't <laughs> think there's a player on the court right now who is not winded. It's been an exciting game. That's the fourth team foul for the Blue Devils. Can you believe these teams have got two regular season meetings coming yet this season? They'll play January 13th at Chapel Hill and February 24th in Durham. And it wouldn't surprise me if they met in the finals of the ACC tournament. Of course, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't either, so balance is the league. Well, he could be wrong about this, but I, I doggone if I don't think Michael Corrin was trying to take himself out, and then with that little bit of a blow, Dean Smith says, okay, Mike, shake it off. But maybe he's now going to substitute Wood for it. Cole Scott drops it off to O'Corrin left sideline. Mike's dribble takes him all the way across the top of the circle. Comes back to Yonaker. That goes to Bradley. Bradley holding high against Suttoth. Bradley moving left baseline. Can't get through against Suttoth. Comes now to O'Corrin left of the circle. O'Corrin holding high against Banks. 
Here's O'Corin on the drive. Drives in. Tries to put it up. No basket. Foul is on Jim Suttoth. And O'Corin has gone to the floor holding his right elbow and wrist area. Mark Davis hustles out and Dean Smith has walked out and not many people are saying anything right now. He's come to a sitting position underneath the goal. The foul on Suttoth is his first. Fifth team foul against the Blue Devils. Painful and costly. And what do you hear in the second half if there has been a singular difference in the Tar Heels' performance in this half when compared to the first? It has been, I think, Michael Corrin's aggressiveness in going to the basket with the ball. He has gone to daylight when there was any there. His wrist is, I suspect, going to be a little sprained, but he is not holding that arm, and that's good news. O'Corin comes to the bench, and well, he should, and that's even in the midst of rivalries when both sides stop to applaud an athlete as he's coming out with an injury. That's what you like to see when great talent is appreciated, and boy, there's some great talent on this floor tonight on both sides, wearing the white of Carolina and the dark blue of the Blue Devils. And some pretty great pressure on Al Wood right now, who has two shots after sitting out for a couple of minutes. 60-60, score tied, 6-10 to play. The Duke students in the south end zone wave their hands, but Al knocks it in. Now the Carolina fans are waving back. 20-point average for Al Wood. He's got 15 after having only four at halftime. The Tar Heels lead 61-60. Men, it may go to the wire. Oh, it will. Al Wood, free throw, good. 62-60, Tar Heels by 16. Or Wood has 16, Tar Heels by two. Spanarkle. From Harrell, right back it comes to Johnny. Over to Suttoth now, right sideline. Back to Harrell. To Suttoth in the right corner. Low to Jaminski against Wood. Blocked by Al Wood. They're going to call foul is called on Wood, and he's out. out of the game. Cole Scott and Wood were just celebrating, but Al's going to be told the bad news now. Al Wood has just fouled out of the ball game. That's his fifth. Al Wood looks toward the scorer's table. He did not remember, I don't believe, having four. And Wood is going to have to come out and sit down. Well, some of the people who, well, the majority of people, let me say, first are applauding. Both sides are applauding. What a performance by Al Wood in the second half. Few people pointed their fingers, but they're the rather immature ones who couldn't play if they had a chance to make the team. 16 points for Al Wood as he goes out with 5.59 to play. O'Corn is coming back in. Dean Smith has walked him to the scorer's table and will send him in. Bob, I've never liked to see that gesture by anybody, and I don't care who it is. When somebody fouls or somebody, people point at a guy. I was never much for waving arms at free throws either, no. myself. Chemetsky will be at the line to shoot a pair. 62-60, the big guy, has been near perfect. Five of six at the line tonight. Free throw is up and good. That's 22 points now for Jaminski. He'll have another one coming. It is 62-61. Mike can tie. Dean Smith has never allowed it in Carmichael Auditorium. Free throw is up. Game tied. 62 all. Just under six minutes to play. Jeff Wolf re-enters the lineup for Carolina, replacing Yoniker. John Harrell has gone out. Bob Bender, I believe, is coming for him. I think it's four quarters. Well, maybe it's five. I can't tell from here. Well, uh, maybe it's three. Maybe it's three. <laughs> 62 all to Virgil. Right side to O'Corin now, top of the circle against Banks. We got a whistle away from the ball, and an offensive foul has been called on John Virgil, I believe. Or was it Jeff Wolf? John Virgil, I think. Yep. yep. Foul on Virgil is his third. And let's see, for the Tar Heels, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the eighth foul. They're already in the bonus. Duke is, but it was a non-shooting foul, so the Blue Devils simply get the ball front court. Spinarco, top of the circle. Two, Jim Spinarco. Big shot, 20-footer. Jim Spinarco, 14 points, 64-62. The Blue Devils by two with five and a half to go. Cole Scott, timeline, bounce pass. Dudley Bradley, hash mark right sideline. Dudley will bring it to the middle. Drops it off to O'Coran. O'Coran moving right of the circle against Banks. Banks knocked down. We get a whistle. Foul is on O'Coran. Mike O'Corin draws his third personal foul, all of which have come in the second half. That turns it over to the Blue Devils with 5.17 to play. Dean Smith has asked for timeout. He'll get it. Timeout on the floor with the score. Duke 64, Carolina 60. Remember this, when you're ready to buy a new stereo, there's only one place to try. Four tournaments. 
In case you're just joining us along the way and you've been up to some other activity earlier this evening, State won the third place game, 77 to 70 over Wake Forest. Norman Sloan, after winning that game, came in and told everybody in the media room he thought the Big Four tournament should be done away with. At least at this stage of the season, he's for playing it a bit later after the season gets well underway. Dean Smith's not in favor of that at all. So are the days of the Big Four numbered? The basketball coaches don't like this kind of pressure this early, despite the money bags they haul home in the Wells Fargo trucks on Monday morning. 64-62, Duke by two with 5.17 to go. Blue Devils are going to have the ball out of bounds after Michael Corrin was charged with his third personal with 5.17 to play. Al Wood has already fouled out less than a minute ago. Duke front court now against the Tar Heel zone. Bender on the right side comes to Spinarkle on the wing. Back it comes to Bender. Back to Spinarkle. Now to Bender. Bender backing up outside. The Blue Devils in a real pressure cooker. They survived one last night against the Wolfpack. 65-63. This one shows every signs of going right to the wire also. Banks, top of the circle, dropping back to Bender. Left the wing now to Sutton. The Tar Heels uh, content Woody with a little more passive zone. Let the Blue Devils take a little time off their own clock. Dean Smith is up directing his defensive traffic now. Spinarkle over on the right to Bender. Swing it on the left side to Sutton. Blue Devils by two with 4.35 to play. The clock counting down. Sutton left sideline, looping it back out to Bender. Bender whipping it back over to Suttoth, bouncing it baseline to Banks. Banks double team, put it up from behind the glass. Good. No shot. 12 points, Gene Banks. 66, 62, 420 to go. Across the timeline comes Dave Colescott, working right sideline. Drops it to Dudley Bradley. Bradley now will come toward the middle. Hits Jeff Wolf with it. Now it's off to Colescott against Bender. Colescott looking inside, comes back to Virgil. Virgil over Spadarkle. Good. John Virgil, 15 feet for his 12th point. That betters his average of 11 and a half coming in the game. His career high, the 14, he got at Northwestern on Wednesday night. 66-64, Blue Devils by two, and Duke controls at the north end of the Greensboro Coliseum. Better than 15,000 sitting on the edge of their seats as they watch it come down. Dean Smith wants hands up in that zone, which is shifting to the right and then back to the left. Duke playing with it on the left side around the perimeter of the Tar Heel zone. Banks to set up, up the left sideline, up back out front to Bender. 3.30 to go. Bender back to Suttoth. Suttoth looks to Banks baseline. Bounces instead back to Bender. Come right wing now to Spinarkle. Clock running 325. Duke 66. Carolina 64. Spinarkle to Bender out front. Bender backing up in the midcourt area. Breaks his dribble. Hits Suttoth left sideline. Came to Jemitsky. Low pass. Jemitsky caught it at the knees. Back to Suttoth to Bender. Bender backing up now. Dean is changing his defense now as he's up in front of the bench. Spinarkle back now to Bender. He's yelling out something now defensively. Tar Heels in the 2-3 zone. Now they're starting to match up man-to-man. -man. Picking up. Cole Scott moving out now on Bender. Cole Scott tried to go to Steel. Spinarkle. Ball knocked away. Cole Scott's got it. We got the whistle. And there's a foul, I believe, on Dave Cole Scott. What? Foul is on Dave Cole Scott as sure Cole Scott is. knocked it away. And it was loose on the floor. Cole Scott recovered. And the foul on Dave is his second. And it's going to put Spinarkle at the line. Wolf has come out. yonaker has gone in. Almost a great steal by the Tar Heels, who had hoped to catch Duke with a surprise double team. It nearly was. Uh, Bob, if there was, in all honesty, a foul there, I missed it. I did, too. I didn't know who he had fouled, if he had fouled anyone. He may have I thought it might have. I thought it might have been called on Spinarkle going by and trying to reach back and get the ball. But anyway, Jim's at the line to shoot one and one. First one's up. Good. 67-64. Spinarkle is now 5 of 7 at the line tonight for 15. 67-64. Another one coming. Bob, this guy's money in the bank, isn't he? Well, he missed one in the 87-83 game last year, but that's the only one I can recall. Next one's up and good also, and it's 68-64. It's a four-point Duke lead under three minutes to go now. Cole Scott to Virgil, right sideline. Al Wood is on the bench with five personals. Yonaker, left sideline now, hitting Bradley, top of the circle. Bradley looking to Virgil on the left, can't get it to him. Comes one dribble against Denard. Now hands off to O'Corin to Cole Scott. Here's Yonaker against Jeminski. Yonaker drops off to O'Corin. O'Corin looking inside, driving on Banks. Can't get by his old buddy Spinarkle. Now it comes to Yonaker. He's left open 18 feet and knocks it in. Rich Yonaker with only a second field goal, and it's 68-66. 2.20 to play. Tar Heels now. Dean Smith and Bill Guthridge both indicating defense. Uh, Denard and Bradley run together, and the foul is on Dudley Bradley for Denard. the block. Denard did a good job of anticipating the double team, and 
got to the spot before Bradley did. And it was a good call by the official. Dudley Bradley has his third personal on the night with 2.16 to go. Denard is 0 for 1 on the night at the line. He has only two points in the ball game. Last night in the win over State, Denard in that ball game wound up uh, with nine points and had eight rebounds. A four or five shooting performance. Free throw is up and good for the sophomore from King. It's his third point. He'll have another one. 69 66. It's a three point Duke lead. Kenny ready on the next one. Bradley and Jaminski wait in the Tar Heel forecourt. This one's good also. 70 to 66. Denard's got four. 2.15 to play. Duke wants hands up defense. Cole Scott across the timeline on the right side. This is by far been Dave Cole Scott's finest hour for the Tar Heel, regardless of how it comes out. Bradley to Yonaker. Back to Bradley on the right. Back it comes now to Cole Scott. To Bradley. Bradley dumping to Yonaker. Lost it. Yonaker in the lane. Ball got knocked away. And Bender recovers. He's double team. Tried to get it to Banks. Did so. Back it comes to Bender. Duke controls the ball. Four point lead to Spinarkle with 1.45 to play. Now to Bender. Bender over to Spinarkle. Duke will try to burn time now. Away to Banks. Banks up for the shot. Dudley Bradley rejected it. Jim Jack whistle the foul. That can't, can't be a foul. Yeah, that's what they called. On foul Bradley. on Dudley Bradley. Look to be some words there between Cole Scott and Banks, but they're all right now. So there's been a timeout called, and Bradley charged with his fourth personal. Timeout on the floor. 137 to play with a score. Duke 70, Carolina 66. are the very reasons to go to Triangle to keep your house warmer in winter. Storm windows are custom measured for each window frame for exact fit, custom installed for maximum benefit. Units come in colors to complement any trim you already have on the house. And with helmet enclosures from Triangle, you can turn a patio into an all-weather room complete with skylight, letting you enjoy the beauty of outdoors and comfort year-round. For every season, Triangle Aluminum Company, Western Boulevard in Raleigh. Morton, I can't decide on a pension plan that'll work. Hey, relax. I stopped worrying about my future long ago since Citizen Savings showed me the perfect solution, an individual retirement account. Yeah. yeah up to $1,500 of my annual salary becomes tax-exempt and earns the highest interest allowed by law until I retire. No kidding. Giving me a lot more capital to build upon in my citizen's account. You know, Morton, you're smarter than everybody says you are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let citizens secure your future with an IRA. Member FSLIC. When play is resumed after Dudley Bradley foul Gene Banks in blocking his attempted layup, Banks will be at the line. Duke has a four-point lead, 137 to play. Each team. Duke has hit its last nine free throws, but Jim Banks hasn't had an opportunity tonight, and he has made only 25% of his free throws coming into the ballgame. I was just thinking during the timeout that Banks will probably miss here, and the Tar Heels will score and tighten it up. Each team, incidentally, is shooting 67% from the floor in the second half. Duke came in shooting 55-8 on the year. Carolina 53%. Banks will shoot two. 137 to go. Big free throws for the sophomore from Philadelphia. No good. That broke a string of nine in a row for Duke. Banks got another one coming. This Blue Devil team shooting only 53% at the line until tonight, but they've been uncanny at the line. Just like last year tonight. Miss it. This one's good. It rolled across the top of the rim, fell through. 13 points, Banks. 71-66. Black is in now at guard for the Tar Heels. In Cole Scott. Jimmy Holding comes over on the left side of Cole Scott. Back to Black. Black one dribble. Back it comes now to Cole Scott. Tar Heels will have to soon make a move. 125 to play. 71-66. To Yonaker. Yonaker whipping it to O'Corn. Missed the layup. O'Corn was underneath and couldn't get it to go down. And Cole Scott has fouled Gene Banks. Cole Scott makes his third personal. Mike had it underneath, and he's been in that position two or three times tonight, and it wouldn't fall. 71-66. One minute, 13 seconds remaining. Bill Foster's called Bob Bender over for a word. You know, Woody, if you're going to be a number one in the country, you've got to have some things fall right for you. Duke played against an inspired and talented opponent last night, and then in the final... Two minutes of play, got a break, and wound up winning the game. 
then uh, again here tonight, the Tar Heels have had a couple of chances here in the last few minutes that they have not been able to capitalize Banks's on. Banks' free throw is up and good. He's got 14. Thus far, the Blue Devils have shown every indication of going into the pressure cooker and surviving. Yes, sir. They've been great here down the stretch. 72-66. Make it 73-66. 15 for Banks. Yonecker to Black. Banks has been tough here down the stretch. Over to Cole Scott. Back it comes now to Jimmy Black. Black will drive into the lane. Tried to get it inside. Deflected back to Virgil. He uses the glass. Good. John Virgil has 14, and Carolina quickly takes timeout. And that will be, I believe, be only Carolina's first. So there is timeout on the floor with the score. Duke 73, Carolina 68. Looking for outstanding value and quality in a new console color TV? Then stop in today at Jeffrey's Supply Center. See what great values they have for you in new 79 Zenith Chroma Color 2s. These are... Hi, won't you be our guest? We know you'll be impressed. Get the best at Wolfer and Tweeter. If you want a hi-fi system that looks great and sounds like a million, they know what you want, and their instant financing makes it easy for you to get the hi-fi system that you've always wanted. Wolfer and Tweeter, 1603 Guest Road in Durham, and on the west end of Franklin Street in Chapel Hill. 59 seconds remain in the Big Four Tournament Championship game, and the Duke Blue Devils are on the verge of winning their first Big Four Championship ever. And this is the ninth annual tournament. And coming into the night's game, Duke and Carolina had met six previous times in Big Four Tournament play, and the Blue Devils had beaten the Tar Heels but once. But tonight, the Duke Blue Devils, the nation's number one team, living up to that national ranking, last night surviving a scare by State 65-63, and tonight, the Blue Devils are fighting back the Tar Heels. Kenny Denard will inbound against Tar Heel pressure. Got it to Banks. Banks whips it to Bender, coming quickly front court. 55 seconds to play. Now it comes to Spinarkle. Spinarkle against Dudley Bradley on the drive. Dudley can back foul. out front now to Banks. Bradley's got four. Now it comes to Jemitsky. Yonaker's on him tightly. Jemitsky in the midcourt area, and Jimmy Black fouls oh. Jim Sparkle. <laughs> Dean Smith uh, tells his young freshman guard from out of the Bronx, New York, He's that's not, the, not the guy we wanted to foul. <laughs> Sparkle will go to the line. He is 6 of 8 on the night. 73-68. Sparkle with 21 po or 16 points. And Dave Colescott's re-entering the Carolina lineup now, replacing Dudley Bradley. Well, the Duke fans have broke out into a mile celebration, but nothing yet because there are 42 seconds left, and they remember once upon a time in Chapel Hill. Randy Wheel has entered the game. Randy, an excellent shooter. He's back talking to uh, Jaminski, and I believe Randy was asking about Mike's wrist. <gasps> Free throw missed by Spinarkle. O'Corin comes away with it. Off to Jimmy Black with 30 seconds, 39 seconds left. Black on the drive, up over Jaminski. Wouldn't go down. They battle for it. Tapped up. Ball lost in the lane. Banks came out of there with it. Puts it, front court off to Spinarkle. Wheel trying to catch up off to Denard. Layup is good. That'll do it. Six points, Kenny Denard, 75-68. 20 seconds left. Front court pass intercepted by Bender. Bender coming front court. Yonaker sliding down away to Jaminski against Wheel. Or Black, rather. Black knocked it away. And the foul is on Jimmy Black. And the Blue Devils have survived and will retain their number one national ranking. Foul on Jimmy Black was his second. To the foul line will go Mike Jaminski. O'Corin is coming out of the lineup now for the Tar Heels. He's replaced by Dudley Bradley. 14 seconds remain. 75-68. Duke by seven. Jaminski's free throw is no good. He'll have another one. Jaminski was seven of eight on the night. He's now seven of nine. 23 points. Another shot coming. Mike taking a deep breath. Pushes this one up. And this one is good. 76 to 68. Yonaker will inbound. Gets it to Randy Wheel with 14 seconds left. Bender from behind, almost knocked the ball away. Bender, re our wheel recovers to Cole Scott from out of the right corner, no good. The ball knocked into the hands of Jaminski. Off it comes now to Bender. Bender for the layup, good. Two, one, the game is over. And Duke has won its first Big Four Tournament Championship ever by 10 points.